Welcome to Everything Economics. We study microeconomics, macroeconomics, and every other type of economics. Hello everyone. So in this part, we will discuss the variety of supply curves. As we discuss variety of demand curves, we will also discuss variety of supply curves. It's pretty straightforward. It's, uh, these are the similar concepts. So uh, you should be fast to get a grip on this one. So economists classify supply curves according to their elasticity. The slope of the su supply curve is closely related to price elasticity of supply. Uh, again, I will mention that if the curve is flatter, this is the supply curve, it would be elastic. If the uh, curve is steeper, the supply curve, it would be inelastic. But we also have other supply curves, uh, which we will discuss in the next few slides. The rule of thumb is the flatter the curve, the bigger the elasticity here. Steeper the curve, the smaller the elasticity here. So let's go on from least to most elastic uh, supply curves in the next few slides. So the first is perfectly inelastic supply curve. This is one extreme. Uh, here uh, the setting is same as it was before. Uh, but the graph is different. The supply curve is vertical and it's it's perfectly vertical. So the price level increases from uh, P1 to P2 by 10%. The quantity does not change at all. So in the formula up here, the price has changed by 10% and the quantity has changed by 0%. And when we divide 0 by 10, we get 0. This simply means that per it's a perfectly inelastic supply curve. Here, the price elasticity of supply is always zero whenever we, whenever we are talking about perfectly inelastic supply curve. It's a flat, it's a vertical straight line. The supply curve is vertical. Sellers price sensitivity is zero and elasticity is also zero. So this is the first case where the supply curve is vertical, perfectly vertical. The second case is inelastic supply curve here. Uh, let's see the graph. The price rises by 10% from P1 to P2 and the supply rises by less than 10% from Q1 to Q2. So this distance is greater than this distance. So percentage change in quantity is less than 10% and percentage change in price is 10%. So the final answer would always be less than 1. This is called inelastic supply curve. It is always between 0 and 1 in elastic supply curve, as it was the case in uh, the price elasticity of demand. Here, the supply curve, curve is relatively steep, as you can see here. Seller's price sensitivity is relatively low, and elasticity is less than 1. This is the second case of inelastic supply curve. Now, let's move on to unit elastic. As it was the case in demand curve, the unit elastic city of elasticity of demand curve was 1. Here, it will be 1 again. Price elasticity of supply should also be 1. Price rises by 10%. Quantity also rises by 10%. So 10 over 10 is equal to 1. Whenever we talk about unit elasticity of supply, we are talking about uh, price elasticity of supply is equal to 1. Here, the supply curve has intermediate slope. Seller's price sensitivity is intermediate and elasticity is equal to 1. This means as the price level decreases by 10%, the quantity also changes by 10%. Fourth case is elastic supply curve. Here, as the price level increases from P1, to P2, which is a 10% increase, the quantity supply, as you can see, increase will increase significantly from Q1 to Q2. So the uh, Q rises by more than 10%. Use this in the formula. Q changes by greater than 10%. P changes by 10%. This will always be greater than 1. So whenever we are talking about elastic supply curve, we are talking about price elasticity of supply, which we can write as PES is greater than 1. So in this case, supply curve is relatively flat, seller's price sensitivity is relatively high, and elasticity is greater than 1. And finally, let's discuss the fifth case, the other extreme, the perfectly elastic supply curve. Here, this is the supply curve. It is 
horizontal perfectly horizontal uh, the price will remain same the quantity can increase from q1 to q2 or q3 or q4 whatever it can change by any percent so price price changes by zero percent quantity changes by any percent and here if you use it in the formula we get infinity because you see supply is going to infinity so this is called perfectly elastic supply curve where the supply curve is horizontal sellers price sensitivity is extreme and elasticity is infinity this is the uh, the fifth case which is the other extreme so that's it for this part i hope you understood it it's pretty straightforward it's this, uh, the same concepts as we used in the case of demand so we have uh, we have five different kind of price elasticity of supplies and uh, i'll just go through it again and you will uh, remember these price elasticities all right so uh, good luck with learning and i'll see you in the next part